hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is elena today's video i wanted to sit down and answer some of the most actually the most common questions that i have on youtube my email instagram and that is all things encompassing endometriosis my story my symptoms my surgery so i wanted to film an updated video all about that I think I have several videos that in small chunks I have said a little bit of information here and a little bit of information here. So I wanted to make one video that gives the full picture of endometriosis. I wanted to make one video that has all of the information that I have currently about my diagnosis, my story or journey, if you will, with endometriosis in an updated recent video. My endometriosis videos are pretty old. I haven't really spoke on it a whole lot. So here we are with some updated information. You are new to my channel. Like I said, my name is Elena. My husband and I are currently trying to conceive our first baby. We have been trying since September of 2016. It is now October of 2019. So almost four or going on now four years. The reason we are unable to conceive as far as we know, the only reason is my diagnosis of endometriosis. So I'm going to take you back before we started trying to, for a baby, before I met Levi, when I first got my period. I know this is useful information, so I'm gonna push pack push back the awkwardness of disclosing these very nitty gritty, dirty, gross details because I, again, I know it is helpful. I looked for these videos after I was diagnosed. First got my period as a young girl. I have always had consistent periods. I've never had irregular cycles. They have always, always been heavy, um, very clotty. I know that is so gross. Um, cramps out of this world cramps that have always made me feel very nauseated i have vomited due to my cramps in a super plus and it's like consistent i'm changing that it's not just this delicate light frolicky beautiful period like they want to show on tv um my period has been rough for my entire life however they talk about these things on TV. They show you a woman taking Midol and these heavy flow pads and tampons. And it's always been normal for me. My mom has always just said to me, you know, I'm there. I'm sorry, you got my period. I have the same periods. And so up until Levi and I started to try for a baby, I'm just thinking, holy heck, this is normal. Like everyone must be as miserable as I am. My period for me just felt normal. It looked like what they showed on TV. My mom talked about it. My girlfriends talked about it. And that was the end of it. When Levi and I started to try for a baby, it had been about six to seven months and we just weren't getting pregnant. I knew something wasn't right. Something felt off. I know it takes couples, blah, 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 a year, blah, blah, blah. I'm just saying I know my body and I, I had this intuition that something wasn't right. My mom has told me several times on the, in my lifetime, I wonder if you have endometriosis. So the, the word endometriosis and what it was was familiar to me, but I've never been diagnosed. I had never reached out to a doctor. When I made an appointment with my OB, she seen two large cysts and basically said, mm, I really think it's just the timing of intercourse. Keep trying. I left that appointment and immediately made an appointment with a reproductive specialist and within five minutes of my appointment with him, he diagnosed me with endometriosis. And I know, I know women everywhere say you cannot be diagnosed without a laparoscopy, which I will say is true to confirm that. However, I do fully believe that a skilled doctor, a doctor that has studied the female body and endometriosis can look at an ultrasound and see abnormalities and say, I'm pretty positive this is endo, let's send you down for a, or let's send you to a surgeon for a lap to confirm this. That is my case. Mine was initially diagnosed through ultrasound, 1000% confirmed with surgery sending those samples off or those biopsies off and confirming this was endometriosis. I was with the reproductive specialist for maybe 10 minutes and then he sent me down to another floor. I was in a big hospital. 
at that time and I met with the surgeon the same day. This surgeon had me fill out a paper packet of do you have A, B, and C? Your periods are light, heavy, blah, 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 this huge thing. And as I'm going through it, I'm marking, I have this, I have this, I have this, and things that I never realized could be endometriosis or were maybe abnormal for a period, I had. Some of those that I didn't mention earlier would be pain when using the restroom went on your cycle. So one thing that my girlfriend and I have always talked about and joked about is when we would get our period, we would constantly have diarrhea and it would be painful and I can't believe I'm talking about my diarrhea habits on here, but <laughs> marking this paper, it would be like pain with bowel movements, loose stools of cycle. Um, another one was when you wear a tampon, do you bleed through? And yes, is that not normal? Um, when on your period, do you take ibuprofen? Yes, is that not normal? Once I met with the surgeon, he said, typically a, a period is going to be uncomfortable, but if you are reaching for ibuprofen, especially like I was on this every four hours, give me ibuprofen regimen, there is something wrong. I 100% was a candidate for endometriosis by looking at all these symptoms. I had my laparoscopy in September of 2017. He took biopsies of many different pieces of tissue. I did have two large cysts on my ovaries. One was the size of a lemon, the other the size of a golf ball. One of those did come back positive for being an endometrioma. The other did not. After going through my laparoscopy, I had endometriomas. I had an ovary that had attached itself um, to my uterus. I had endometriosis around my appendix, which they did move while they were doing my laparoscopy. Because of all of those things, it put me into a category of stage four endometriosis. I had A, B, C, and D. They chart marked me stage four. After that appointment, we still weren't conceiving. Um, I'm not going to get into the fertility side of things. A disclaimer I will say is stages one, two, three, and four will not dictate less pain, moderate pain, severe pain. You can have stage four and not have any pain. You can have stage one and be, I mean, down and out most of the month because of your pain. One thing with endometriosis, some women experience this pain only on their period week. Some experience it maybe with ovulation in their period. Some women experience pain all, all, all month long, regardless of if you're having a cycle or not. I am not one of those, so I am the worst stage, if you will, the most severe stage, and my pain is not all month long. Whereas a woman in a Facebook group that I'm in, or multiple women actually, stage one and they are looking into taking out disability because they are unable to work because of the severity and the duration of the pain that they are experiencing. After I had my surgery, this is a big question. How did I feel after? How long did I feel good after? I would say the first couple of months, maybe six months, I felt really good. After that, slowly I would start to experience more and more pain with my cycles, maybe more heaviness with each cycle with sex in any other position only if my legs would be in the air. So from September of 2017 to summer of 2019, I have felt pretty good for the most part. I can't complain. When this summer hit, it was like a huge downhill what in the world is happening. Before we started trying for a baby, I was fine with what was happening with my body. I could take every profen. I was good to go. Sure, sex was painful, um, but I made it through. Now, so the only reason then I went to the doctor is because of infertility. I wasn't able to get pregnant. We had been trying for so long. Now, I have made an appointment with a new specialist because I am in pain more often. My cycles are getting heavier. My cycles are becoming irregular. I have had cyst ruptures. I have been in the emergency room because of my endometriosis. It's kind of like my endo was not bad. It was manageable to all of a sudden, it's like Satan is in my uterus and in my ovaries and he's wreaking havoc. 
I don't know where this turn came from. I have no idea what's caused this. Um, so I made an appointment with a specialist. My appointment is November 14th. I am fairly certain that I will need a laparoscopy, um, a second laparoscopy, because like I mentioned, this pain is becoming more and more consistent. Pain with sex is all the time. It doesn't matter the position. It doesn't matter the time of month. If I'm close to my period, if I'm close to ovulation, middle of the month, nothing happening. Sex is very painful for me. I, I do not like how I'm feeling with my endometriosis right now. I have put off for a couple of months. Like I really don't want to get another surgery. My husband and I want to transfer an embryo that we have on ice. This is going to push it back. But the more and more cycles I have, the more and more intense my pain becomes. I want to add in a support group that has been shared with me and I want to share it with you all. If you have endometriosis, I'm going to share a group with you all that is on Facebook that has been shared with me and has been a huge resource. This group is Nancy's Nook. If you search for that, you will find it. I promise so many women in that group. If you need help finding a doctor in your state, in your town, there are so many women on there with answers and resources ready to hand out. So after doing some research on a new doctor in my area, I did find one that has amazing, amazing reviews. He is not just an OBGYN. He is a surgeon, an OB that has specialized and knows endometriosis. My surgeon I think was familiar. I don't think he's specialized. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he's just a minimally invasive gynecologic surgeon. So he does surgery for everything in that area, whereas this doctor is honed in on endometriosis. He studies it, he knows it, he's shaking his hand, he is very familiar with endo, and that is what I so desperately need. Like I mentioned, my appointment with him is November 14th. I will take you guys along. I plan on vlogging and sharing as much as I can. The biggest question that I receive is what are your symptoms of endometriosis? So as of October of 2019, the symptoms that I have, heavy, heavy periods, terrible, miserable cramps, um, induce vomiting. I'm on a regular every four hours, give me dang ibuprofen regimen pain with sex in any position, very irregular periods. Last cycle I spotted for an entire week and then I had a full week of bleeding. It was incredibly rough. So irregular cycles, spotting, still having an issue with my bowel movements whenever I'm on my period. They are incredibly painful. I know I have had cyst ruptures. I'm fairly certain that I have a cyst or something going on. Now just by the pain that I feel, it feels so familiar. It brings back two years ago to that same pain and once the cysts were, were removed, I'm like holy crap, is this what it's supposed to like feel like whenever I sit on the toilet and have a bowel movement? Like is this what it's supposed to feel like during my period or during sex? I would be surprised if I do not have a cyst or something right now <laughs> i guess i will know in a month i hope this video was helpful for you i tried to like throw everything that i have experienced with endo into this video without making it an hour long if you have any questions for me leave them down below my instagram is always in my description send me a message there i will be more than happy to answer so many women say i know this is tmi but can i ask this and i always say ask me anything if I have an answer or if I have an experience, I would love to share that with you. That's why I'm sharing this on YouTube. This is why I'm sitting here talking about my period on the internet. It's not just so I can sit here and talk about this really fun, gross thing. It's to help and it's to share what knowledge I do have with whomever is looking for it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Like I said, my appointment is a little over a month away. I will have a video all about that, so be on the lookout for that and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.